But then something remarkable happens, I guess. She slows down the moment so that the others can arrive in time. Oh, I thought she was going to have an emotion. Hey, I said remarkable, not a miracle. She's stabilizing. Oh, thanks for saving me with your medical technology. By the way, I hate technology. I'm sorry, I'm still wondering what happened to that blue guy. Were they important theories? Would they change the dynamics of anything? So in a twist, or at least I think that's what they're calling it, it turns out that the dying race called the Sona are the exact same race as the Baku. They just left the planet so they didn't have the healing powers that the Baku had. So as you can see, the ethical standpoint of this movie is so weak that they had to make up other reasons to hate the bad guys. Well, you can also tell he's the villain by the fact that he looks like Salieri's skin melting. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's F. Murray Abraham, isn't it? It's okay, I think even he forgot he was F. Murray Abraham in this picture. Moving them is one thing, killing them all. No one hated them more than you, Golda. So it's a little confusing, but pretty much everyone keeps ship-hopping and they fool the Sona by beaming them onto a holodeck, which is programmed to look like the bridge of their ship. They just happen to have that program in there? No more questions, Linkara. Unable to comply. Injector assembly one has been deactivated. He screams like a baby elephant and then goes over to the collector device for the rings and then Picard beams over there and they have a really crappy action scene. Blah, blah, blah. You're really going to risk igniting the exhaust? All right. I will. No! Most useless villain ever. The card is beamed up, the ship is destroyed, and we get our one funny line in the movie. The Soda crew would like to negotiate a ceasefire. It may have something to do with the fact that we have three minutes of air left. So bored by the rest of this, I can't even bring myself to laugh at that. We also see that Data has discovered playing! Seven years of character development on a TV show and three movies, and it all comes down to playing! Don't forget, you have to have a little fun every day. Start by not watching this movie! Linkara, I'm not gonna lie, I do think that's the worst one. You see? Even if you took out the ethical discussions, the film as a whole is just a bore. The action is dull. The effects are dull. It's paced more like a really lame episode than it is a feature film. It just feels like nothing was accomplished. And even the worst Star Trek movies left me with something. At least one or two interesting moments. But this is totally forgettable and has nothing backing it. And in a way, for a Star Trek movie, you could argue that is the worst crime you could ever commit. Oh, wait, 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 we still have all the problems of Nemesis to go through, and I'm not just talking continuity errors here. Fuck. Well, thanks everybody for joining me for Star Trek Month. I hope you enjoyed it. And... <laughs> all right, all right, I'll quickly go over Star Trek Nemesis. This is the film that everyone says is the other bad Trek film, but to be fair, I don't think it's that bad. It's got some annoying scenes and way too much action, but the whole idea of nature literally versus nurture I thought was kind of fascinating. I like the idea that Picard had to battle his younger self, and that in a different environment maybe he could have been something entirely different. And the relationship between the two I think in many respects is actually kind of heartbreaking. To me, that's the glue that held the movie together. Is it good? Technically, on a storytelling level, probably not. But I have to admit, I enjoyed watching it for the most part. But yeah, I'll admit, as an ending for the Next Generation franchise, it probably wasn't all that it could be. I mean, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. It could have been Star Trek Insurrection! <laughs> Thank you.
question.